and I'm with um, Better Ballot Vermont, and we're here talking to folks who have just voted about how their experience went with ranked choice voting. Um, in our last charter change, we got ranked choice voting back on the on the ballot in um, in our electoral systems here in Burlington. So we're really excited to see how folks' experience was. Do you think the ranked choice approach uh, made it a little more confusing this year? Um, no, I think it made it a lot more better because then you can see both the good qualities in all in all of the candidates and you don't have to just choose one. I think that it's a really cool opportunity to hear from a lot of great people and to see how they think that we're going to change what's happening in the city, specifically around public safety, around affordable housing, and also climate action. Anytime there's an open seat where the mayor who's been the mayor isn't going to be the mayor anymore, I think that brings out more competition, you know, in a sense that, you know, either side or anybody could become the mayor. So I think that that's part of the excitement. You know, I'm really looking forward to seeing whoever's the next mayor is to make sure that we sort of, that the next mayor brings us all together to kind of solve some of the problems we're having in Burlington because it's not like other communities across the country that are having the same issues. So we're not alone and our challenges are not different from other towns and and cities in Burlington, in Vermont. I always vote. Of course, I had to switch wards this year. Um, I guess for mayor, I'm, I mean, I'm psyched that there's two women running for office. Um, I think it's time for a change. I'm grateful that that opportunity presented itself. Uh, well, the the school budget is really big. I know a lot of communities are going to be uh, struggling with uh, big tax increases this year. So. Um, I'm hopeful that folks will support that. Uh, we need a new high school and um, we need to continue providing uh, quality education in our school districts. You know, I feel like this, the budget stuff always feels confusing as a renter and thinking about how that, how that impacts renters, the budget for the school going up. But I'm also just like, yeah, I feel really heartbroken about the high school, the kids being in the high school right now. I've, I am an educator, so I'm all for like giving money to schools. There's nothing more important than education for our young people, but it's hard to figure out how taxpayers can afford that. I do think that there is an issue. I work downtown on Church Street, so I think it's important to invest more importantly in like preventative measures. Um, invest in mental health, invest in drug treatment and counseling. I think the public safety tax increase is really important. I think, you know, it also uh, provides funding for um, the uh, non-sworn positions within the police department, so the community uh, support liaisons and the community service officers. Um, and I think that is a really important um, alternative that we need to continue funding. Yeah, we do. There's a lot more shootings, there's a lot more drugs. So I think we need to do something about it. I don't know what the answer is, but I think we got to find, find some answers. Well, Bernie won his first election by 10 votes. And so, especially on, in these local elections, every single vote matters.